I did not do due diligence in that respect because the firm was of such a large caliber and uh, she had her certified financial planner license that I just assumed uh, there was integrity and uh, the best interest of the client at heart. The arrangement was that um, I paid an annual fee, which was a percentage of the amount I had invested with her and the firm. Um, it was not based on profitability of the investments. And um, I found out later that she did in fact receive commissions for certain investments that the company wanted her to sell me. I was with, with this particular consultant for 12 years. I uh, had a personal friendship with her. I trusted her. And eventually that trust was betrayed. In terms of quantity of loss, I would say it's probably maybe 20% of my gross net worth is what I would say that I have lost from that 12 year investment with her. Read the fine print, understand the fees, understand the nature of the investments. Financial corporations have a lot of time and a lot of experience with how to extract fees and make fees difficult to find um, in terms of a complicated investment, in terms of what you're actually paying for others to market or manage things. My advice to investors would be definitely get a fee-only independent financial planner who is a fiduciary, meaning they have your best interests at heart. And if they are in fact a fiduciary, get them to sign a document indicating that that is what they intend to be for you in your financial investments. I can say that my portfolio performed, underperformed the market by probably 10 to 15% or more when I was with my previous planner. With my current fee-only fiduciary planner, I am at the market level or above. I can manage my investments independently and they're transparent. I can see them, they're consolidated all in one place and they're not complicated. So my portfolio has done much better and I feel more comfortable with this planner and with my investments.